In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly what I do in Madden 21 and why I do it. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. This is an Inside the Mind video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, you don't know what I'm about. I'm all about helping you get better, both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball in Madden NFL 21. And so if you're interested, I upload four videos a day, one at 2 o'clock, one at 4 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, and one at 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern time right here on my YouTube channel. We also go live every night and stream uh, Madden NFL 21 gameplay. So if you're interested, um, that's a little bit about my channel. We're going to jump right in here. And I am on offense right now with my New England ebook. And basically, we're going to run U-trips. We're going to run a lot of Y-off trips here. Um, I love this formation out of the New England playbook. I think it's one of the most underrated formations in the game uh, just because of what it can do both against man and against zone. It just has answers to pretty much everything the defense is going to try to do. And so you're going to be able to just work the ball up and down uh, the field against your opponent. Now, whenever I start an online match in Madden, one of the first things that you have to understand about what you need to do is you need to get your audible set up. So what I'm going to do real quick here is I'm just going through, I'm setting my audibles, uh, trying to be mindful a little bit about the time on the clock because essentially I've kind of scripted my plays. I know that I'm going to run tight end whip. I'm going to run the levels concept uh, pretty much the entire first drive just to kind of um, give me some kind of consistent theme uh, just to see how he's going to defend it, how he's going to stop this levels concept right there unfortunately Brett Favre uh, threw the ball into the back of the lineman's head uh, but that's fine we'll continue to adjust uh, to it now I love scat I love Y option wheel I love tight end whip I love all of the plays uh, from this now uh, essentially what we're going to do here um, is again we're reading man coverage he's going to probably sit in man for the majority of the game um, here he does check out this looks like something like a cover four so I'm just looking to see if there's a hard flat on this left side it's actually a cover two which is fine. He did play hard flat, but we're able to get that ball, and I will take that. That little three-yard route, I absolutely love throwing that route. I will throw that every single time if they'll let me. And again, depending on where his guys are going, um, that's going to tell me where I'm supposed to throw. Right there, my guy got held up. I don't know what just happened. Um, that's probably a product of me snapping the ball a little bit too soon. Uh, and now we're going to have to jump on the defensive side of the ball and make something happen. Uh, it's just unfortunate. We've been having a little bit of issues uh, with the motions out of U trips, but normally that is not an issue at all. But uh, anyway, we're going to have to lock down on defense here. I'm running 335 wide and 335. Uh, five normal uh, kind of to start here he's got air mcnair so you know he's got probably hot route master on him throws a streak really quick i don't think that should have worked because we're sitting in a cover four shell um so we're gonna go ahead and just bring these guys down uh looks like we're gonna probably see inside zone right here he's running a lot of hot routes so we'll see um there's a little crosser another little crosser and a little route to the back and he's gonna end up taking his uh taking his throw away so, um, honestly, just a big turn of events. Was not expecting that turnover on the first drive. So, what I've got to do is really focus in right here on defense and do my best to hold him to three. Um, that's really what we're trying to do. We're just trying to hold him to three here. Uh, keep everything in front of us. Uh, looks like he's going to go. I've got hard flat coverage on both sides. Uh, he's going to throw a corner route. I don't really, I don't really like that. Um, my outside quarter just completely stared at that. Did nothing. Um, as I got dotted uh, on that play. So interesting calls by him so far. Um, just running some simple flood stuff. Uh, I'm going to click off, let my guy go get him on the blitz. We get a big-time fumble. Aaron Donald picks it up, and uh, that's huge. That's a huge turnover by him. That's, that's In my opinion, that's just bad. That's, that's a bad play by him, and now we get the ball back. Nothing really hurt, um, and we're still kind of on our first possession. Uh, we're just going to play this as if – we did not turn the ball over. So I'm going to come out and run more tight end whip. I want to, I really want to establish this. I want to see what his, adjust, I want to force him to have to adjust. Up to this point, he really hasn't adjusted. Um, and so we're going to see what we can do. Now, right there, there's that route to Lance Allworth. If he's going to consistently stick in man coverage, that route is going to beat man every single time. And so we're going to be able to take that read. Now, he does have some abilities on his corners. Looks like he's got probably some acrobats out there. Um, some different things as well. So I got to kind of watch that. Um, there's that route to Marquise Brown. And that's what we were looking for last time on that play. Um, now, what I've noticed with this offense is, again, it's a lot about being very simple. I'm trying to identify at the snap of the ball. 
and based on my progression and based off my windows uh, where I can throw it right so right here um, he actually did a good job of pressing taking everything away we're able to get that post route coming over the middle of the field um, he actually did a really really good job of taking that route to uh, Marquise Brown away um, what we're going to go to right here is we're going to go to kind of a again another levels concept but this is a little bit more we got the post now coming from the left side we're running a little bit of a smash concept on that right side um and looks like the time is going to run out um in the hat or in the quarter um let's see here so on this play again a lot of man-to-man -man coverage you can't ignore that he's been basically running man every play but what we're going to do is just kind of continue to stay simple uh, we're going to go to scat. That's basically the right side version of levels. So if he runs man on the left side, we should have this post route. Um, here he's going to bring a safety down, and that's exactly why we called that. You see Tyreek Hill able to get the catch and able to work the ball up with the levels concept. Um, so, again, scat is kind of that change of pace uh, type of play. So we're going to go back to tight end whip with this motion snap. Get him out here. And it looks like he's going to go there. Um, now, once he starts using usering on that right side of the field, then we can begin to work the right or uh, usering on the left side of the field. That's when we can begin to begin to work the right side with that tight end whip. If he's going to work that left side of the field, I'm going to hit that tight end whip route right on the snap. Um, it's it's again again getting the ball out of your hands quick, making it easy for your quarterback to read and identify you know what's open. There we see it again, and there's that route. That's exactly what we're looking for from that route. We're looking for it to be caught at about three yards of depth and then to basically run for another three to five yards as well. Put us at a good down and distance and just keep the ball moving forward and keeping it very, very simple. The reason that this is really, really effective is because it's going to force him to come down. Now, it looks like right here he's going to try to bring some underneath coverages. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to that backside levels. Now, this is a little bit of a simpler version, but it's got this uh, route to, to Tyreek Hill. And he does go to cover three here, and Lance Allworth is able to make a nice user catch right up the scene, and we're able to get that one-play touchdown against that cover three. Had we were able to get Tyreek Hill over in motion a little bit sooner, um, we would have had a little bit more separation on that. But again, that little seam read does beat that because he's playing underneath coverage. We force that. That's what that route does. That route forces your opponent. It absolutely does. It forces your opponent to have to play underneath coverage. If your opponent doesn't want to play underneath coverage, that's fine. You're going to take your route. You're going to take your little simple one yard, two yard here, three yard there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit them over the top with something like that. That was a very good drive. And now what we've got to do on the defensive side of the ball is we've got to be simple. Um, again, nothing nothing hurt with that first drive. Um, I don't, you know, I'll be interested to see how he goes here. Uh, we're going to actually drop our curl. We're, yeah, we'll leave our, in this situation, we'll leave our curl flats where they are. We're going to play just stock, cover three, and just kind of see, you know, how he handles this. Um, that's really all we're trying to see um, right here. We're just playing very basic cover three. We're going to mable that left side um, just just to kind of see, again, what does he do? How does he handle it? Um, kind of just keep everything in front of us here. He does, goes with a nice – I actually really like that play call. I don't know what that play was called, but I really do like that call. Um, now here going to more cover three, just keeping simple. We're going to keep the yellow and make him take that hard flat. See, that's what we want to see. We want to see if, if they will take their hard flat. If they will take their hard flat, then we're going to adjust to that throughout the game. I'm not going to put a ton of energy into a two- to three-yard route um, at, the, at the first little bit of the game. What I want to see is I want to see will you take that consistently. If you'll take that consistently, then I will begin to adjust to it as the game goes on. But I'm not going to over, overextend myself, and I'm not going to just over-adjust to it You know, just because I don't like it when somebody completes yardage. Part of playing defense is you have to be okay with giving up some short things to keep everything later. And then at the right time, we're going to certainly take that away. We may go press man. We go may go some other things as well. But we want everything to look the same. There's, again, he's taking that quick out. Quick out, quick out, quick out. So now what we can do is we can begin to kind of adjust, right? So he's going to bunch here. So you know he wants to hit this tight end route. So we're going to go right here just like this. Now I'm going to jump the tight end, jump the tight end, jump the tight end, let go click off and i forgot to put my guy on a blitz unfortunately so that was actually a really good run by him so actually i mean you know good drive so far by him i feel like i'm okay on defense 
most people misunderstand defense, right? They, they think defense is trying to stop everything. It's not. Defense is not trying to stop everything at all. It's, it's, it's trying to stop some of the basic things um, and, and contain everything else. That's why I actually really like to just kind of sit, not necessarily in just a cover three show, but you know, keeping keeping everything underneath, forcing him to take the drag route. I do not like that he was able to complete that route right there. That tells me that we need to fix this. So we're going to go right into our coaching adjustments. And for whatever reason, I guess we had him on 20. I don't know how that ended up getting open. If he's able to continue to throw that, um, then we're going to adjust. Another thing that I like to do, uh, and I didn't talk about this yet, I really like to go to, dang, I got clicked off of my guy there. Um, so right here, we're going to take a timeout. The reason why is we're anticipating that he's going to score. So we're just trying to kind of hedge our bet a little bit. Now, he might go inside zone here. If he goes inside zone, we're going to give it up probably. Let's see. A little curl. And we get a nice pressure sack. So we're going to call timeout right there. So now we have him in a really good situation. This is third and nine. More than likely, he's not going. either going to get a touchdown or he's not going to get anything. So what we've got to do on the defense side of the ball, we're going to go to cover four quarters. We're going to send three. And then my job is the middle of the field. We've got the purple zones at 20 yards. That's where we want them. We're actually going to turn those into cloud flats right there just by shading coverage down, shading coverage up. And he's going to force it right to us. And we ah, we dropped a wide open interception. We have four people there. And that's what I'm talking about. That, in my opinion, is a really good defensive possession. We didn't stop everything. We gave up a little bit. But what we were able to do is we were able to get an understanding of kind of way he wants to play. And we were able to hold him to three at the end of the drive. To me, that is exactly how I want to play defense in Madden 21. Um, so we're going to get the ball back here. Ball on the 25. We're going to go down and score. We're going to try to get three. Um, again, you don't want to you don't want to over you know extend yourself. Don't always try to go for the one play touchdown. That's that's not what I'm about, and that's not what the offense is about. But what we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to hit him, hit him quick here on the same play that we scored on. And uh, you might disagree with this decision, but this is again, this is just to try to see if he's going to give it up again. If he's going to give that slot streak up again, then we will we will gladly take it. But it's exactly the same um, now, right there, uh, and that might have been a little bit of a risky throw, but that's okay. We'll take that rep to the tight end quick. And now, realistically, we've got to get about um, about 20 yards or so. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe more like 25. Um, so what we're trying to do is kind of see what he's, you know, kind of basis a little bit off what he's going to do. But I'm anticipating cover three again. So we're going to go to a little cover three beater, right? Um, we're going to smart route Tyreek Hill. This route to Cooley is really good against cover three. Bring that motion over so it's going to look like everything else we've been running. I'm reading this corner route on the left, kind of seeing what he does here with this. And he does give it up. We just throw it just a split second too late. And um, and he's going to be able to stop it. So good defense by him. I felt like we had it, but we just you know didn't get it. Didn't get it there. So you can tell a lot of cover three, a lot of cover three, a lot of cover three. Right, obviously right here on this drive, that's kind of his approach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play really simple. Uh, I'm going to go to tight end whip. Now if he if he takes the route, if he takes the post route, he's got it. Um, and we'll just check it down, maybe even throw it away here. But I just want to kind of see here what's going to happen. And you see that route dragging across. He can't get all the way over there. We're able to get that down. Oh, we got to go. We got to get a fake spike or a spike ball. So we hold circle. Whatever you want to spike the ball, just hold circle. We're able to get down. And now I'm just going to check coach suggestions. Normally they're pretty accurate. So we're going to try to hit this field goal with, um, with Janikowski. He does have focus kicker on him, but I'm also not the best uh, field goal kicker in the world. Right there, I think we got it right at 100. We didn't get it all the way accurate, so he might have been able to block it. But let's see, I think we're going to be able to get that in. It bounces right off the uprights, unfortunately. So, all right, no problem. So he gets ball coming out of halftime. So we're actually not in a great position. It's obviously nice to have a lead, but um, not not too thrilled with the fact that we missed the kick. That's, that's not a good thing. And I thought we hit it at 100. Maybe if we hit it on accurate kick, we would have made it. We probably needed about an extra maybe yard. You know, realistically, probably only needed like another yard or two, um, but that's okay. Now, again, we're going to kind of go with the same approach on defense here, just kind of keeping everything in front of us. That's really all we're trying to do. Now, he's shown that he will occasionally run some type of little little quick flat in there. I don't like that that stuff is getting wide open at all. So we're probably going to shift that cover three because he's throwing a lot of corner routes. Um, we're probably going to shift that cover three to just cloud flats. 
yeah, just cloud plots here. So we got this route. And Deion Sanders is just kind of staring at it. That's really frustrating. Uh, Deion Sanders is the best corner in the game and just stares as they throw it right at his face. So here's cover three again. We got this user right in the middle of the field trying to stop this run. Oh, one trap is tough. Um, and that's okay. Again, we're just trying to kind of get a feel here. He's, he's moving the ball on us. Um, but I honestly don't feel too bad. I mean, the routes he's throwing aren't necessarily like unstoppable. So we'll see here. Going gum bunch. We're going cover three. We're going to leave. Uh, there's not as many cover three beaters down here. And Deion Sanders still doesn't play it. That's crazy. And he gets a broken tackle and scores. So I don't know. That's, in my opinion, that's not a great route combo against that coverage, but. It's all right. You, you got to feel confident in your game plan. That's the other thing. You know, you can't just deviate it. Obviously, you don't want to be stubborn. But I don't feel too bad against, like, that's a flood, con it's a simple flood concept. If I use her on the right side, which I should have shifted and use her, the right side guy to take that corner out away a little bit, to kind of hedge it a little bit, um, I don't feel terrible against his offense. I really don't. I mean, he walked right down the field on us and scored, but I really don't feel too bad. Um, with what he's been doing. I don't know what's going on out right here. I don't know why he hasn't kicked his field goal yet. Uh, maybe he's like in fake field goal or something. But uh, we'll just we'll, we'll let him have it right there. Maybe he was looking at something or whatever. Um, real quick, if you guys have not joined my text message membership, that link is in the description. My number is also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. But basically what my text message membership is, is it's a way that every single week I'm able to give free money schemes, um, free full eBooks, basically. Um, they're all video based, but free guides to my members. And, um, that's pretty much what it is. Every week I sit down and break that down in this week's video. I sat down and broke down the why off trips, Pat's formation. We took about an hour uh, to do it. And we broke down one play touchdowns for every single defense, um, in the game. And also some really, really good, uh, just like I said, just like this tight end whip, work the ball up the field type of plays. Now, I'm fully anticipating some type of cover two on that right side. That's exactly what I get. And unfortunately, um, Aaron Rod or Brett Favre just probably had the worst pass of his career um, because that should have been a wide open laser. And we'll see if he goes to it again. He might shift out of cover two just because you see he does move him back. But we're just watching here on this to see if that's cover two. Um, and I think it is. But that's okay. We're going to hit that that little wheel route. And that's why I really like that wheel route. That's a late read. But when that wheel route comes around, um, you can you can pass lead that inside against a lot of different coverages. All right, so he's been running a lot of uh, cover two here. So we're going to go to halfback Sluggo. Get that motion over. And he's in cover two. Um, I feel really good. And he just left it. He was on that deep safety, and he left that streak wide open. And uh, and we're going to be able to hit it. That's why I really like that half flex go as a counter to your power play. Your power play is horizontal. It's it's mostly taking these little incremental little dig route, little dig route, little dig route. Right? He might have blocked me there. Um, little dig route, little dig route, little dig route. And then that that uh, slago play is vertical, really trying to get him up up the field. Um, so that's why I like that right there. Okay, so defensively, we're going to have to figure something out because he's been doing you know, far too good at moving, just inching up the field here. Um, so we got we got to play some better defense. That last drive did not look, look like what we wanted it to. And I don't know how he's throwing these out routes. I really don't. I really don't. Because he's throwing so much to the flats, uh, we're going to go to Tampa 2. And he might go, yeah, he does go one trap. Dang it. I'll tell you what, Owen Trap just drives me bonkers. It's one of those runs that's just tough. All right, so I'm kind of set, gearing up here to stop these little outs and stuff. And he left him wide open. Is that a bounce? Yeah, we got lucky right there. We're gonna go. We're gonna go cover four, and we're gonna basically just take that. Man, it got me again. We should have pressed. We should have pressed out of that. Go 
cover four again. We'll see. Like we've we've got to play these outs. I don't know why they're not. Normally I don't have an issue. I've never had an issue with out routes and corner routes. Like right into it. That's got to be an interception. Oh, that's got to be an interception. All right, that was probably the best defense we've played. So we're gonna stick with that. Cover four. Throws it right at my face once again, and my guy does nothing. Man, we've got to find a solution because this is apparently the best offense in the game. And you know what I like to do whenever I don't have a solution? Um, I like to blitz the crap out of people. So we're going to start doing that because we, we are not we are not doing too hot on defense right now. Dang it. And Nitrain Lane just did not. Ugh, he did not do what I needed him to do. All right, we're sitting six here. We got everybody manned up, so I just got to watch for middle routes, I feel like. Something over the middle is going to be where he's going to go. You got to think the tight end or the slant. Um, he might go to a corner route. He might run the ball, too. Um, looks like he's kind of dumbing out. Let's see. Yeah. That's good pressure. Um, all right, so defensively, I like 4-6 normal. Uh, in the red zone, also like 3-4 Bear. I kind of feel like 3-4 Bear would give this guy a little bit of trouble just based on the way he's playing. Um, he's going I-Form, H-Pro, 2-RB. Okay, so he's going with a kind of a standard Pro set. Um, so what I'm going to do, and we're going to run commit down. And get in. Okay, so we're able to hold here. And we might go no huddle. All right, so third and goal from the two. Um, you know what? We're just going to run standard cover three. And we gave it up. Dang on it. I was. Mm. Oh, this guy is playing so irritating. It's a good game. That's a good game. Offense is going to have to go down and score. The, the, the field goal before half, I mean, it should be a tie game, but it's not. So, man. This guy is just, ugh, his offense is tough. And this is where when you have the ball on my end, you've got to be thinking about that, right? If if I'm him, I would play super, super aggressive because of how effective his offense is playing, right? Um, almost give me a, a field goal or a touchdown. But, um, man, I, I don't know why our defense is struggling so much this game. Because he's not doing anything that wild. That's what's crazy about it. Anyway, we got to uh, shift our gears here and lock in. And we're going to go for the big play right out of the shoot here. And just kind of watch this side. And he's not playing hard flat, so we'll just take our back route. And again, you know, offense is – this offense specifically is a lot about staying on schedule, moving the ball down the field, um, you know, and just kind of staying simple. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go to this Y option play – it's, I don't know why I cannot like adjust my players. That's kind of been a new little phenomenon that Madden's thrown at me. Uh, we're going to leave that, that streak there on the left side. We're just looking right there, and that's where we wanted to go the whole time. Perfect read. But this is just all about a drive. Um, the, this, this drive is truly, you know, it's one of those drives that you strap up and go get them right here because this is, this is all about just being simple Staying on schedule and see here, see how he's shading down so much right there. Chris Cooley right in behind. And I love that he ran backwards for probably 10 yards. That's just absolutely incredible. So cover three from him. Uh, going to take another shot right here. This is a good time to take a shot. Second and three um, is a good opportunity. So we're going to take that. Uh, going with that cover two beater. Watch his user. His user should hang in on that left side if he does. Um, and we're able to get him late get his user kind of trying to come back that post route keeps running and uh, good defense so far by him and I'm thinking I could go to a cover three beater on the left side as well uh, you notice where his, safety, his deep safety is right that's something you're paying attention to so you see here he's flipping his play so his deep safety is on the left side with me knowing that what that means is he should not be able to get back. He's going to have to user that streak. If he users that streak, which he probably will here, 
See, there he goes. Then I can take the whip route and just take my yards. That combination right there really puts a lot of stress on the cover three. Um, we'll take this down to the two-minute warning. He's going to have to start calling timeouts. We're not too – I mean, I'm not too worried if his offense has a limited amount of time, right? But if his offense has just unlimited, then then that's where, you know, we just haven't been able to stop him yet. So we we got to at least place pay some, you know, pay some respect to that. But we'll be I'll be interested to see what he calls here. And he he, he probably he probably will go to prep. Um, man, I think this is some type of of man coverage, but we'll try this right here and just keep it simple. And Brett Favre, thank God he didn't fumble. And we'll just take our take a couple quick yards. That was cover four. It was actually a really good play. Play call. Got to go to tight end whip right here, in my opinion. That's your play. That's the play you must make go. That's your power play. That's what's got you here. Watch his user. And we got a touchdown right over the middle. Lance Allworth. He's digging. See how he comes down? And you're able to hit him on that post route. That's what's so good about U-Trips. He just... It's hard to guard everything. So now this is where the defense has to step up. Offense did its job. Okay, it got down, got seven. Uh, four possessions, so four-point lead. So he has to score a touchdown. He's got a minute 20 to do it. And so far, uh, the big nickel over G hasn't worked. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to some nickel three through five. And really what we're going to do right out of the gate here is uh, send the gas. We're sending the gas right here. I'm trying to shade up, but it's not letting me. All right, so we got shaded coverage up. We're sending a gas. If he, we're going to use a rush him actually. If he, if he sends it running back out, we're going to use a rush him. And he doesn't. Okay. And man, that out route should. Oh, that out route should not. Mm. And we get a huge sack. So right there, just went to man coverage. Um, that, so we got him in the second 15. And again, this is all about understanding game management and what do you call when, right? That's what this game is starting to turn into. Um, so right here, we're going to go with cover four. Uh, I need that deep blue because we just want to keep everything in front of us, keep him in the middle of the field. That's really the goal here. Um, not give up anything underneath here. And we're going to let our guy go get him. And, man, that's a – tight throw again and that's a tight window throw good read by him and honestly we're, we might just sit in this this cover four shaded up there and just keeping him in the middle of the field that's what we're trying to do we're just trying to keep him in the middle of the field we're trying to take his timeouts away so by running that cover four on the outside um we're able to handle uh crossing routes and we're deep halfing as well, so we're we're really cleaned up, you know, cover five style. We want him to run the ball. We're begging him to run. We're just playing drop back, just trying to hang. We get a huge sack from uh, Jones. You know, he only has one timeout, so I actually don't agree with him. I think he's letting this clock run, and this is going to kill him. Um, you're going to see how much clock is about to run off. And so we're going to go shaded coverage up, man coverage. I'm running straight back, and he has to throw into the defense. And it looks like we might be able to get out of here with a win. Um, fourth and six. I actually don't agree uh, with calling prevent defense. Um, I've never liked prevent defense, to be honest with you. So we're going to just kind of sit in our standard shading coverage outside, shading coverage over top. Uh, we got this guy, and we're going to use him and just not let him get out of the pocket. Really what we're trying to do here. Um, we're actually going to take that slot guy, just run him back. We're actually going to and oh no, we got off our user. He might get us and throw it up and we get out of here with a W. So that is, that was a good game. That was a good matchup. Hopefully you learned some stuff. I made a few mistakes, made a ton of mistakes on the off, on the defensive side, but it ended up that three through five came out for us. Well, clutch uh, in the end. And we're able to get out of here with a W. One thing I want to let you know is if you want to get the scheme that we ran in this uh, game. The link to those ebooks are in the description. And also, if you want to get my Why Off Trips Pat, 
um, scheme breakdown, just shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. So the full schemes are in the description. If you just want the U-Trips formation, just shoot me a text message, and I'll put you on our uh, our list and shoot it your way. So thanks for your time, guys, and we'll see you on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.